Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to add polls and surveys to your Gmail uh, using a free extension called Gmail Free Online Polls and Surveys by CloudHQ. Uh, so CloudHQ, they offer all kinds of extensions for Chrome and uh, to be used with Gmail and that type of thing. And the cool thing about it is once you make an account and start using it, you have a little button here in your Gmail. And then you could go to your dashboard and click on Show All Apps and see which ones you have installed. And then additional apps that you can install right from here. And so it's kind of cool way to, you know, easy way to uh, start playing with them and testing them out all in one place there. But anyways, we're going to be playing with this uh, online poll and surveys extension. So once you install it, just like any other extension, just click the button. I'll put a link in the description for it. And then you'll have a uh, extension for it up here. You could pin it if you want. And so how it works is you make a new email. And then it'll be down here in your regular buttons. I'm recording at a low resolution, so I have a second row here. So let's say we're going to send one to Cindy here. Okay, so we'll click on that. So there's a few built-in uh, ones you could use automatically here. But we're just going to do a new one from scratch. And then you could change these buttons here from the default, just click on it. And then if you want to add like an emoji, you should be able to right click and pick an emoji. Let's put one in the middle here and we'll add a new one. Just like that, and you could add some text. And then if you want to request their email address and additional comments, uh, you can check this box here. And I'll show you how that works later, what that'll do. So click on Add. So now that you have it here, you could hover over it, you could remove it, edit it to go back to where we just were, or click on the style. So if you want to change the background color of the button, Change the text color, border color, you could add a border, you know, change the radius, that type of thing. Okay, so we'll just send it off to Cindy here. All right, and then we'll go to her email. All right, so then she gets the email, and then she just needs to uh, pick an answer here. I'll take her to the page here, and she could put her email address here if she wants to, you know, optional, of course. Submit. Okay. And you can change the answer if you want. All right, so now back to the sender of the poll here. He, he got a uh, reply here. It's like new answer was recorded for your poll. Their answer, their email address, their message, operating system. And then if you want, you could click on this. And this will take you to your polls here and see all of your responses. So obviously, this is just one. And if you click on the uh, extension button here, you could export your responses to Google Sheets if you had a bunch of them, which obviously, you know, I just have one. So obviously, I'm not going to do that. So that's the uh, gist of the extension here. So like I said, I'll put a... Uh, I'll put a link in the description. You could download it yourself. I'm not sure if you're going to need to sign up for a CloudHQ account to use it. You'll find out. I've been using this uh, company here for a while for their extensions, so I don't remember if I had to sign up to use specific um, extensions or not. But if you want to you know, use some of their other ones, it might be a good idea to make an account. It makes it a lot easier to manage your extensions from one place. All right. Thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe. <laughs>